Good morning. I'm Dr. Karen Butler Perry, Associate Provost of Graduate and Professional Studies and Professor of Electrical and Computer Engineering. Thank you all for joining us as we conclude a week-long salute to graduate and professional education. Today, I'm honored to represent my fellow administrators, faculty, staff, and those who support graduate and professional education at Texas A&M University in sharing a state of graduate and professional education. As we complete the 20-year aspirational course outlined as imperatives in Vision 2020 and address the ever-evolving challenges of this year, I am proud to report the state of our graduate and professional programs is strong. That strength is built upon the strategic investments of the university, particularly in the areas of student funding and support, professional development and recruiting, the dedicated support of our faculty and staff, and the contributions and achievements of our outstanding graduate and professional students. Over the last 10 years, I have been pleased to lead the Office of Graduate and Professional Studies. Through the efforts of our students, staff, faculty, colleges, and schools, the improvement and growth of graduate and professional education has complemented the impressive university-wide growth in enrollment and academic programs, both of which have enhanced our worldwide reputation. Graduate and professional students contribute to teaching, research, and mentoring, participate and serve in leadership roles in campus organizations, increase diversity, and bring intercultural engagement to our campus. They make our university better, and while they are here, graduate and professional students are developing skills to become leaders, teachers, and innovators to make the world better. Their contributions are evident in every measure of our success. In fall 2019, we had nearly 15,000 students enrolled in graduate and professional programs, a healthy 64% increase in the last 10 years. Enrollment in graduate and professional programs even stayed relatively steady in fall 2020, despite the pandemic, experiencing only a slight drop in graduate and professional student enrollment. In the 2018-19 academic year, nearly 5,000 graduate and professional students earned degrees. As of 2018, we were ranked number nine in the top 50 doctoral granting institutions. We are adding new programs and increasing our offerings of multidisciplinary programs. Over the last few years, colleges have continued to expand graduate and professional offerings to meet student needs and market demands, adding, for example, MS and PhD programs in pharmaceutical sciences, created new interdisciplinary programs like NMED, which combines Master of Engineering and Doctor of Medicine programs, and a combined Master of Public Health and Juris Doctorate program. A new Bush School of Government and Public Service teaching site opened this fall in Washington, D.C., just blocks from the White House. We also have launched many new Master's and Doctoral Distance Education programs. In the latest U.S. News and World Report rankings, our Distance Master's in Education program for veterans ranks third, Master's in Special Education fourth, Master's in Engineering seventh, Master's in Education eighth, and Master's in Nursing, 11th nationally. Our diversity is increasing. Underrepresented minority students, Black, Hispanic American, Asian American, American Indian, make up 27% of our graduate and professional student population. 26% of our students are international from over 110 countries. In the last five years of reporting, 2014 through 2018, Texas A&M ranked number four nationally in doctoral degrees earned by Latinx students and number 12 nationally in doctoral degrees earned by African-American students. Initiatives like our Alliance for Graduate Education and Professorate program which partners with other system universities, is preparing underrepresented minority students for academic STEM careers at all types of institutions of higher ed. Graduate students are teaching, researching, and mentoring. We typically fund over 1,700 graduate assistants in graduate assistant teaching and graduate assistant lecture positions who support the teaching of undergraduates each semester. Graduate assistants make excellent teachers and mentors for undergraduates. They can also drive innovation in teaching, for example, at a time in when technology is rapidly changing the way we understand the world, Michaela Baca, a 2020 Association of Former Students Distinguished Graduate Student Award winner in the teaching category, is not only innovating in her teaching, 
She is paving the way for full professors in her department to incorporate digital media in their teaching. At the core of her pedagogy is what scholars call critical making. Michaela works to demystify authorship in order to empower her students to become creators rather than just consumers of literary texts. She moves between historical and digital media in a way that connects the creating of old books to the making of podcasts and live stream events, the building of Twitter bots and Wikipedia pages. Her use of VoiceThread software, which allows students to create visual, textual, and auditory presentations to teach close reading is so innovative that she was invited by the Center of Digital and Humanities Research to present about her methods. Additionally, she has taken her classroom methods public, collaborating with the Cushing Memorial Library and Archive, and a fellow graduate student to celebrate the bicentennial of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein by live streaming the event for public viewing in conjunction with NEH funded events nationwide. Her work on this project raised the profile of Texas A&M's English department and earned her a publication in Digital Humanities 2020, the most prestigious international venue for digital humanities scholarship. She's also won multiple teaching awards in addition to her Distinguished Graduate Student Award. Mr. Shante Anderson, also recognized earlier this week as a 2020 Distinguished Graduate Student in Teaching Award recipient, is a doctoral candidate in the Department of Communication. He has taught six different courses as an instructor of record and co-created a new course, COM 338, Critical Race Discourse. Shante's strength as an instructor is his ability to create a space in which students feel challenged to take risks in arguing their positions and simultaneously safe to express themselves on difficult to talk about topics like race and gender. A faculty observer calls Shante's classroom welcoming and encouraging. One of his peer observers notes that Shante is never shy of pushing back, challenging and calling students to their highest potential. One of his students praised his classes as being interactive instead of him preaching the material at us. Adding that, we learned through conversation. Also, graduate and professional students are making a difference as researchers. We typically fund over 2,400 graduate assistants supporting faculty research as graduate assistant researchers, or GARs. And these graduate students are pushing discovery and innovation in their own research as well. 2020 Distinguished Dissertation and Kunze Award winner, Akshi Singla, who earned a PhD in chemical engineering in May of 2020, made a major breakthrough in combating multi-drug resistant infections. By discovering the mechanism bacteria used to first latch onto a cell before an infection sets in, Akshi was able to develop a new drug delivery system to attack the bacteria where it creates the infection. Administering the antibiotic at the site of infection makes the drug more effective and minimizes potentially harmful side effects to the rest of the body. In the words of her doctoral supervisor, Dr. Hong Jin Wu, Akshi's research is not just promising, it is absolutely going to make an impact. One of our 2020 U.S. Senator Phil Graham Doctoral Fellowship awardees has also performed groundbreaking research in the medical field. Sri Devi Arun Kumar, currently a PhD candidate in biomedical engineering, has spearheaded a project with the Pharmaco Engineering Laboratory to develop an innovative polybubble vaccine, depot capable of preserving vaccine viability while in transport through harsh environments. She has conducted the design, experimentation, optimization, and commercialization stages of the multi-year project and was instrumental in securing patents for novel technologies. Advances in vaccine delivery platforms may expand life-saving vaccine coverage to previously inaccessible areas of the world. In addition to the demands of research, Sri Devi is also a devoted teacher, mentor, and friend to undergraduates. Other recent research highlights among graduate and professional students include Christine Figner, a December 2019 PhD graduate in marine biology, conducted research that galvanized a global movement to pressure companies to phase out the use of plastic straws from their daily operations. 
Figner was recognized by Time Magazine as a 2018 Next Generation Leader. Lee Ellen Preston, who upended a stable career as a math teacher to return to school and pursue a PhD at the Texas A&M School of Public Health, will serve as a CDC doctoral fellow and work to improve health outcomes. Preston's research focuses on infectious disease epidemiology, specifically diarrheal disease, the second leading cause of death in children under five worldwide. In 2018, Stephanie Murphy, a 2014 graduate of the Mays School of Business Executive MBA program, founded the Alpha State Test and Research Alliance. Her business is at the forefront of the newly developing space economy, offering government agencies, academia, private companies, and now individuals access to the low Earth orbit space environment for research and testing. Joshua Harris, a December 2017 graduate of the Aerospace Engineering MS program, developed a low-cost flight simulation system to support research in flight controls and autonomy. He received multiple awards for flight dynamics and modeling work conducted as a part of sponsored research programs for the Federal Aviation Administration through the Pegasus General Aviation Center. Additionally, he was named a U.S. Department of Transportation Student of the Year. A December 2018 graduate of the MS in Construction Management Program in the Department of Construction Science, Fatima Sozuka developed and tested an innovative architectural programming simulator that has real applications in the construction industry. Her simulator is now in use by faculty at Texas A&M, Virginia Tech, and Brigham Young University. While working toward both her bachelor's degree in international studies in the College of Liberal Arts and master's degree in international affairs, the Bush School of Government and Public Service, in a three plus two program, Cheryl Thomas is performing world-class research for Texas A&M professor Dr. Valerie Hudson's Women's Stats Project. The project assesses the relationship between state security and that of women within them. Data from the Women's Stats Project has been utilized by the U.S. Senate Foreign Relations Committee, the United Nations, and other institutions and media outlets. Clearly, the scholarship of our graduate and professional students is making a difference. The more ways we can find to support them, the more and greater impact they can make. I am pleased to announce today a new endowment, pledged in the name of Carol J. Cantrell, that will support graduate and professional students. Carol Cantrell served Texas A&M for more than 45 years. Her most recent role was as Senior Associate Vice President in the Division of Research. Carol will be remembered as a strong advocate for research excellence, who advanced Texas A&M's engineering program and made long-lasting contributions to the system's research enterprise. The Carol Cantrell Memorial Scholarship for graduate students will continue Carol's legacy of support. We're joined today by Carol's husband, Dr. Pierce Cantrell, and daughters, Jeanette Gill and Holly Richards, to talk about why they have made this investment in graduate and professional studies at Texas A&M. Our daughters and I are pleased to honor their late mother and my wife with the Carol J. Cantrell Memorial Scholarship for graduate students that will be administered by the Texas A&M Office of Graduate and Professional Studies. We're also thankful for donations from Carol's family, friends, and colleagues to this endowed scholarship. Carol grew up in Amarillo, Texas, and she earned her bachelor's degree from West Texas A&M University in Canyon. She moved to College Station in 1973, beginning 45 years of distinguished service to Texas A&M University and the Texas A&M University system. For more than 30 years, Carol was involved in research administration. Carol was known for a strong commitment to faculty research, and she worked diligently to assist researchers in securing funding to support their research programs and their graduate students. Carol's unwavering belief in the value of education and academic research were a hallmark of her career. Her most recent position was Senior Associate Vice President for Research, where she was responsible for functions in sponsored research administration, administrative policy and compliance, research reporting, and sponsored research finance. Carol served as the liaison with sponsored research services in support of the university's overall research program of more than $922 million 
dollars in expenditures per year. Carol spent the first 30 years of her A&M career in the College of Engineering and the Texas A&M Engineering Experiment Station, TEAS. And there she specialized in research finance and administration. In 1987, she was named the TEAS Assistant Agency Director for Business Affairs, serving as the Chief Financial and Administrative Officer. And in 1997, she was promoted to TEAS Associate Agency Director and Assistant Vice Chancellor for Engineering. A 1990 graduate of Leadership Texas, Carol was active in many professional organizations. She served as chair and a member of the board of directors of the Engineering Research Council of the American Society of Engineering Education. Named a Texas A&M University System Regents Fellow in 1998, that same year, she served as a member of the USIA delegation to China um, on intellectual property management. Other honors included being named to Who's Who in Higher Education, Who's Who of American Women, the College of Engineering's Outstanding Performance Award, and the Sigma Xi Presidential Research Administrator Award. She was a member of the Daughters of the Republic of Texas, and Carol was particularly proud of having served as a fish camp namesake in 2018. Known for her quick wit and her commitment to advancing women, Carol brought energy, intellect, and passion to her work. And she was respected for her integrity and commitment to excellence in all she did. Never reluctant to advance or defend the cause she believed in, Carol will be remembered as a strong advocate for research excellence. Because of Carol's dedication to the Texas A&M research enterprise and the important contributions graduate students make to research, we thought that an endowed graduate scholarship was a fitting tribute to Carol. Thank you. My mom, Carol Cantrell, believed in the power of higher education, especially at Texas A&M University. Even though she did not obtain a degree from Texas A&M, she embodied the core values of excellence, integrity, leadership, loyalty, respect, and selfless service. Through her hard work and determination, along with these values, she built her career and legacy at Texas A&M. She was always looking for the right solution to help principal investigators move their research forward. She did this by helping to cut through bureaucracy that sometimes occurs in governmental agencies, but she helped more than just faculty. My mom always was trying to help students. She helped them by connecting them with student work positions on campus. In addition, she always had her door open to talk with students and to support their challenges and to help them succeed. Toward her later years, she was advising an international student on how to succeed through their graduate program. Our family is grateful to be able to give back to Aggie graduate students in her name. Our hope is that this award will help a graduate student further their academic career and their research pursuits. Thank you so much. Howdy, my name is Jeanette Gill, class of 92, and I'm honored to share a little bit more insight into my stepmother's impact at Texas A&M. Carol's lasting impact on students was made evident when she was chosen to serve as fish camp namesake in Camp Cantrell in 2018. She took this role as a mentor to both the co-chairs and freshmen very seriously and spent many hours of her personal time attending pre-planning meetings, tweaking her motivational speech she would later give to camp, and actually attending all four days of camp in the Texas heat. Olivia Brancis, class of 2019, and co-chair, who, who was the co-chair of Camp Cantrell, recently shared with me the following. Carol was everything Fish Camp could ask for. From the first moment Carol was paired with our camp, we could not stop hearing from others around campus about her successes, accomplishments, and impacts throughout A&M. During camp, many students reached out to talk with her, and she was happy to support them to find comfort and reassurance through sharing her own journey. During the four days at Fish Camp, we would constantly ask, where's Carol? Someone would then point her out at a lunch table where she would be laughing with new friends or in the middle of a discussion group engaged with the freshmen or 
even sitting with a solo freshman, listening to them open up. Carol's compassionate personality drove others to want to be around her and learn from her. During my time at A&M, many counselors shared different yet parallel experiences about how they always found comfort and mentorship in her presence. Carol was everything Fish Camp could ask for, but most importantly, she was everything we did not deserve. We love, miss, and think of her sweet presence that she left in each of us every day. In addition to Fish Camp, she often mentored students and staff who were lucky enough to work in her office. McKaylee Badgett, class of 2018, stated, Carol was not only an incredible leader in her workplace, but also an amazing role model. There are few people in this world that possess the leadership qualities that Carol had, but even fewer that have the ability to reach every single individual in their field of work on a personal level the way she did. She had the ability to make every person, no matter how important or their responsibility, feel as though they were extremely important and an exceptional member of her team. She gave people the confidence they needed to push past their self-imposed boundaries in the workplace and help them accomplish things she was confident they could achieve all along. I saw this happen many times to coworkers around me and also experienced it myself. The confidence she helped me gain during the four years I worked for her will stay with me for the rest of my life. In closing, I'd like to read Carol's words that she shared during her speech with a freshman during fish camp. Leadership is not about getting the big job and then telling everyone what to do. Rather, leadership is about being good and trustworthy enough that others will follow you and then be happy for you being at the helm. Thank you for allowing us to honor Carol and her services at Texas A&M. As we begin the next decade and initial years of the new strategic vision of Texas A&M, graduate and professional education is building on our momentum. Our new developments and priorities moving forward include, we're in a new location. The Office of Graduate and Professional Studies has moved from our office in the J.K. Williams Administration Building to Nago Hall, one of the oldest buildings on campus. Our move from the Administration Building to the center of campus is about more than logistics. We aim to better serve our students and be a hub for our graduate and professional student community. As our campus gets more vibrant in the coming semesters, we hope that graduate and professional students will begin to feel more connected to the unit that advocates for them. Formulation of the Texas A&M University Graduate and Professional School. Based on the university's vision 2020 strategic priority to elevate graduate and professional education, we are undertaking an effort to transition OGAPs from an office to a graduate and professional school. The Texas A&M Faculty Senate recently voted to endorse this concept. This demonstrates an even deeper commitment to graduate and professional education at Texas A&M and enhances our visibility worldwide. Enhance our digital presence. As we transform our office and strive to better connect our graduate and professional community, we have begun construction on a new website. Based on surveys with graduate and professional community stakeholders on their experience navigating our website, we have partnered with a vendor to completely reimagine our website, becoming more student-centered and improving user navigation, content, and aesthetics. Our target for launch is early 2021. Improved collection and presentation of data. We are equipping ourselves to gather, visualize, and utilize current and former graduate and professional student data in exciting new ways to aid in recruiting, to enhance student support and success, to improve our graduate programs, and to provide stakeholders with information about graduate and professional education at Texas A&M. We have created a new graduate and professional studies section on Texas A&M's accountability dashboard to share that data in a user-friendly and transparent way. Advancing professional development. We want our students to be successful in their careers after they graduate. To that end, the university has invested in development beyond discipline-based coursework and research to bridge the gap between graduate education and the workforce. Grad Aggies, or Graduate Resources and Development for Aggies, is a collaborative initiative of the Career Center, Center for Teaching Excellence, 
International Student Services, Money Education Center, Office of Graduate Professional Studies, Counseling and Psychological Services, University Libraries, University Writing Center, and the Graduate and Professional Student Government. And that list continues to grow. The goal of the initiative is to help graduate students achieve their academic and career goals through the development of the skills they need to help them on the job market and forge successful careers. The Grad Aggies program is constantly evolving as the needs of our graduate and professional students are constantly evolving. For example, competency areas will be expanding to not only include communication, academics, instruction and assessment and career development, but also leadership, diversity, equity and inclusion and personal well-being development. We're also currently evaluating ways to expand our Grad Aggies Professional Development Certificate Program to allow for more ways for students to highlight their development on their resumes and CVs for potential employers. Our Center for the Integration of Research, Teaching and Learning, CERTL at TAMU, is another example of how we strive to provide our graduate professional students resources for career success. CERTL is a national network which seeks to enhance excellence in STEM undergraduate education through development of a national faculty committed to implementing and advancing evidence-based teaching practices for diverse learners, which includes 37 research universities in the U.S. and Canada. Our participation in this network provides our graduate students access to resources and experts from all other participating universities. Collaboration with the GPSG. We work closely with the graduate and professional student government to support and advocate for graduate and professional students. We pledge to continue that close relationship, especially focusing on developing student leaders who work to improve the graduate and professional student experience. To that end, we present our annual Montgomery Award to a graduate student whose leadership and service positively impact the larger Texas A&M graduate student body. At this time, I am pleased to introduce the 2020-2021 GPSG president, Utej Wadapali, who will present the Montgomery Award. Welcome, Utej. Howdy. My name is Utej Wadapali, and I'm the president of Graduate and Professional Student Government for 2020-2021. I'm very honored today to give remarks on behalf of GPSG for the ceremony honoring our Montgomery Award recipient. And we are very grateful to the Office of Graduate and Professional Students for recognizing and rewarding an astounding student leader. The Montgomery Award is funded from an endowment to award a student leader whose service has positively impacted the larger Texas A&M University graduate student body. Students eligible for the Montgomery Award are student leaders making major contributions to the academic opportunities and quality of life for their fellow graduate students here at Texas A&M. Whether through demonstrated leadership in international student groups or service organizations, students must show their dedication to serving Aggie graduate students in addition to excellent academic and scholarship. As a student leader myself, I'm deeply touched that we have an award ceremony that honors such excellent student leaders. The work and contributions made by student organizations plays vital role in the success of a university as these organizations enhance the education experience and offer students a platform to socialize, learn, and grow beyond academics. The burden of success of such organization falls heavily on the leader. And let me tell you, it's not an easy job. Laying out the vision holding the team together, and communicating effectively are just some of the things required of a leader. And in these times of the new normal, where team engagement and effective communication are challenged, recognition of student leaders through such awards is wonderful. I am pleased to announce this year's Montgomery Award recipient, Joseph Duby of Department of Veterinary Integrative Biosciences from the College of Veterinary Medicine and Biomedical Sciences. Joseph Duby is a doctoral candidate in the Interdisciplinary Graduate Program in Genetics. Prior to arriving at Texas A&M University, he received his Bachelor of Science in Integrative Biology from Oregon State University. He then spent several years working in Alaska and North Carolina 
providing GED coaching, teaching microbiology labs at the University of Alaska Southeast, and curating the science speakers for the inaugural TEDx Durham. His current research in Dr. Vaishali Kaju's lab has focused on evolutionary dynamics of selfishly acting mitochondrial genomes in Xenorhabditis elegans. In addition to presenting at local and national meetings, Joseph has presented his research at the Society of Molecular Biology and Evolutionary Conferences in Yo Yokohama, Japan, and Manchester, England. Joseph has served the Genetics Graduate Student Association in various offices and committee roles, including recruitment chair, social chair, and vice president. He currently serves as president. He has also worked to enhance local understanding of evolutionary genetics through activities such as volunteering with Texas A&M DNA Days and serving on the planning committee for the annual Southeast Texas Evolutionary Genetics and Genomics Symposium. To Joseph Duby, this year Montgomery Award recipient for excellence in leadership, we are truly honored by your presence here at a proud institution that is Texas A&M University. Thanks and gig him. Thank you, Utej, and congratulations to Joseph James Duby. Next in my discussion of future priorities and initiatives is expanding access for diversity and inclusion. We will continue our efforts to enhance diversity and inclusion. I mentioned our rankings in enrolling and graduating underrepresented minority students earlier. We are not satisfied with those numbers and determined to do better. We are committed to making the institutional changes necessary to create a more supportive, inclusive environment and improve the student experience. We believe that diverse perspectives are foundational for a truly higher education, and we are actively pursuing ways to increase diversity. We're also focusing on programming that enhances recruitment, retention, and professional training for students from underrepresented minority populations. This year, OGAPS, in partnership with six Texas A&M University biomedical doctoral programs received a five-year $1.2 million T32 grant from the National Institutes of General Medical Sciences, one of the National Institutes of Health, to establish the new Texas A&M Initiative for Maximizing Student Diversity, which will enhance diversity in biomedical sciences. We want all of our students to feel welcome and a sense of belonging at Texas A&M, and we want them to thrive here. The best advocates for our programs, if we are to continue to diversify our institution, will be those who have found a home here and then find success in their careers. And we want to start actively recognizing the legacies of Texas A&M's underrepresented minority graduate and professional students. I am proud to announce today one significant step in that effort. Over the last five years, our Diversity Excellence Fellowships have funded graduate education for more than 100 master's students and over 200 doctoral students at Texas A&M. We have recently garnered approval from two great Aggie families to rename our longstanding Diversity Excellence Fellowship Program in honor of Dr. Dionel Aviles, class of 53, and Dr. James Johnson, class of 67, the first Hispanic and African-American students awarded PhDs at Texas A&M. The awardees will be called Aviles Johnson Fellows. Encouraging interdisciplinary research, we will continue to support and remove structural barriers to multidisciplinary scholarship. We know that breakthroughs happen when great minds from different disciplines come together, and we will support the creation of new programs that encourage collaboration and community, promoting wellness and mental health. Over the last decade or so, we've become more attuned to graduate and professional student mental health issues. To promote holistic health and wellness, we are strengthening our partnerships with the offices of the Dean of Student Life to ensure that all students are able to fully enjoy and reap the benefits of Aggie life, counseling and psychological services, to ensure that our students have access to crisis prevention and mental health education resources and services. Financial aid to ensure that our students have awareness and access to scholarships, fellowships, and grants, and also emergency aid if needed. Outreach to and partnerships with faculty, staff, and our students 
on emotional wellness, prevention, and educational programming to assist in the creation of a healthy campus environment through community awareness, stigma reduction, and the fostering of emotional well-being. We're also increasing our efforts to promote a sense of community among our graduate and professional students through events, interdisciplinary engagement, better communication and advising, and providing resources in a way that takes into account that graduate and professional students' needs vary greatly from one student to the next. Deepening engagement with former students. As I said earlier, the greatest champions for graduate and professional education at Texas A&M are our former students who had a truly transformative experience as graduate and professional students and have gone on to lead and become difference makers in the world. We are taking initiative to build our connections with Aggies who earned graduate degrees. These are more than our goals, they are responsibilities. Texas A&M is a special place. Our university is not here only to create classroom opportunities for our students. We strive to grow leaders who will take on leadership roles in selfless service to the greater good. In Aggieland, our state, country, and the world. Today, that mission is more important than ever. I would say it is mission critical. With the challenges we face, such as climate change, social injustice, inequality in housing, education and opportunity, public health, food security, and water scarcity. Each one of these challenges presents an opportunity to herald the lessons of our past and engineer our future. In every field of study and at every location of Texas A&M, from Doha to Fort Worth, Galveston to Kingsville, and Dallas to College Station, we have the potential to meet these challenges. Doing so begins with unlocking the potential of our graduate and professional students. I am confident that we have a solid foundation in place to uphold our responsibilities. I am grateful for the opportunity to be a part of that effort and proud to stand alongside all of you as we undertake it. Thank you for all that you do to strengthen graduate and professional education at Texas A&M University. Mm -hmm.